Welcome, my name is Oli, and today we'll check this, the Zaopin Z2 gaming mouse. After the very good X-shaped Z1, Zaopin bring now the Z2 on the market. This time we have an ergonomic shape style gaming mouse and we stop specification for a very competitive price. But is it nevertheless worth it? Let's find out. First, let's do a quick unboxing. In the box, we'll find the mouse here in the color white and gray. It's also available in white and black, red, black and orange. Also in the box, cable and already the 4K dongle, which is great. Quick tapes, a little screwdriver and different skate design with cutouts to access easy the screw to open the mouse because this Z2 has hot swappable main switches, which we will take a look later. Out of the box it has a full PTFE skate design, which makes in my opinion less sense because if you have the possibilities to change the skates, they should have put out of the box the skates with cutouts. Now you have to destroy the skates to open the mouse. For the rest, you will find a little sleeve pocket and the manual. Regarding the specification, it has a 3395 sensor and as I said before, the Z2 gaming mouse comes out of the box with the 4K dongle. And so you can set in the software the polling rates directly up to 4000 Hz. Even with the hot swappable switches, it still has a weight of 65 grams. Out of the box, it comes with the TTC Gold switches. To change the switches, you have to remove the screws here Make sure the mouse is turned off before. I recommend using a more handy screwdriver if you have one. Then open it like that by removing the top shell. Now to remove the switches, you have to untie the three little screws on each switches here. You don't need to remove them completely. Only make sure the screws are loose enough so that you can pull out the switches. Then replace it with a switch you like, like here the one no blue switches. Tight up all the screws so that it has good contact with the switches but not too much. Put the top shell again and the screws and you are done. Here a quick sound and quality check. The TTC Gold switches out of the box feels good, very light and spammable. Even after removing it and replacing it, I don't feel any difference. In general, I feel a slightly post and pre-travel, but not noticeable in gaming. Side buttons are very good, snappy and reactive, almost no post or pre-travel. Scroll wheel has a very good defined steps. The click on it feels, however, for my taste, a bit too hard compared to other similar scroll wheels. Build quality is good, I only have a small creaking sound more like the bottom is popping when you press a bit hard on it. I have it already before opening the mouse for the first time. It's a creaking sound between the bottom and the top shell connection. Nothing to be concerned, it's definitely not a problem while gaming, but it's here on my copy. For the rest, the coating is solid, it has this G-Pro X super light feeling, it's smooth and the surface provides good grip for my more dry skin. The PTFE skates out of the box feels very good, good feeling while moving the mouse around. Also, the skates with cutouts are good, the edges are well rounded. Regarding the shape, I don't find any similar ergo shape to compare with. It's kind of funny. It feels like an ergonomic G-Pro X Super Light. It has this potato shape, a more deformed potato. It's also about the same size as the G-Pro X Super Light, so more flat compared to the conventional ergo mice. The hump highest point is more on the middle. The side shape curve is not so strong, so not so an aggressive ergo shape, but still very comfortable. With my end size of 70 by 9.5 cm, I can use very comfortable a claw grip or aggressive claw grip, as it leans to have the same shape approach as the G-Pro X Super Light, palm with small and medium end size should be good too. Regarding the performance in gaming, the sensor and the polling rates up to 4000 Hz works flawless. I mostly play Quake and Apex Legends. I had a lot of fun with this mouse. Definitely a nice change compared to the other recent releases. 
So to sum up, Zhao Pin again impressed with this Z2 gaming mouse. I like that they use another approach to create this Ergo mouse. In my opinion, there is nothing very similar on the market. It has the characteristic of an ergonomic mouse but feels in hands like an MB mouse. This could be Logitech new gaming mouse shape, a G Pro X super light ergonomic gaming mouse. And for only $60 or €70, Euros, you have a very solid 4K gaming mouse with the possibilities to change the switches. So you can almost configure this mouse as you wish. So if you are looking to a slightly more comfortable G Pro X super light and use the switches you want, the Zaopin Z2 gaming mouse is definitely worth to try. So that is for today, I hope you enjoyed this review, if so please drop a like and sub to the channel if you want more infos you can also follow me on Twitter or X where I post some news and what is coming next. Thanks for watching and as always see you next time, bye bye.